Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Harsha Wali Khan. So now in this video, I am going to cover up two questions in this unit number three. The first question is regarding what is voucher and what are the different types of vouchers. Very frequently asked in examination this question regarding uh, sub, uh, source document that is voucher and also what are the different buttons which are used in this tally ERP. These two questions I am going to cover up in this video. Last video I have completed the process of recording the transactions. That means how to create, how to create the voucher, uh, voucher type and how to uh, display the voucher type, how to alter and how to delete the voucher type. All these things I have explained in the last video. I hope my regular viewers have already watched those videos. If you have not watched, I suggest you to go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject computerized accounting. Select the topic unit number three that is uh, entering, recording the day-to-day -day transactions in accounting package. That's it. So if you continuously watch one video with another, then only you can get the complete command. Otherwise, if you join in between or leave in between, you will not be able to understand. So before starting this video, I expect my viewers to get, take a screenshot of the notes which I have written on the board so that you can be able to have a permanent record of all these points. And just before examination, if you review, definitely with confidence, you can face the examination. Take a screenshot, then I'll explain. Ha. So the first question is regarding what is a voucher and explain different types of vouchers available in tally. So first of all, in a company, the transactions are recorded on the basis of some documentary proof. Whenever we are required to pass any transaction, record any transaction, the transaction will be recorded on the basis of some documentary proof. The proof in a written form. On the basis of the documentary proof, the transactions are recorded, called as source document or voucher, vouchers. These documents on through which the accounts, the entries are recorded are called source document or simply it is called voucher. These documents show the nature and amount of the transaction. <clears throat> the basic details of the transactions are contained in this source document nature of the transaction, amount of transaction, date of transaction. These things will be specified in the source document or voucher. Vouchers are the bills. Now I'm giving you the examples of vouchers. So vouchers are the bills, invoices, receipts, cash memos, wage bill, <clears throat> registration deed, counterfoil of pain slips and counterfoil of checks, traveling allowance bills, salary register, and any other written proof which indicates the transaction has taken place. These are few examples like bills, invoices, counterfoils of pain slip, counterfoil of checks, salary register, similarly cash memos, receipts and any other document which evidences that this transaction had taken place. That is called a voucher. That is called a source document. Now the vouchers can be classified. So here I have explained you the meaning of the term vouchers. It's a source document through which the records will be maintained. The entries are recorded in the books of accounts. That is the voucher. Now what are the classification of voucher? What are the different types of voucher? The first, the vouchers can be classified as supporting vouchers and accounting vouchers. We broadly classify the vouchers into supporting vouchers and accounting vouchers. So first I'm explaining you about supporting vouchers. Supporting vouchers acts as documentary evidence in support of transaction which has taken place. Name is supporting means this, this document will support the transactions, will help the transactions. That means later on, when we refer to the transaction, we must have the evidence. So this is the evidence. Now, supporting vouchers are again classified into 
internal supporting vouchers and external supporting vouchers. So supporting vouchers are the basic documents through which the transactions are entered. Now supporting transactions are again classified into internal supporting and external supporting. First we discuss about internal supporting trans uh, vouchers. So internal supporting vouchers are prepared by the organization itself and the other party authenticate or validate it such as counterfoils of pain slip, counterfoils of checks. So internal supporting vouchers. These internal supporting vouchers are prepared by the organization itself but it is authenticated, validated by a third party. Simple example of internal supporting voucher is a counterfeit, pain slip counterfeit. When we deposit the money in the bank, we can deposit only through with the help of bank counterfeit, pain, pain slip. The pain slip consists of two parts, main body and the counterfeit. The main body will be taken by the banker, whereas the counterfeit will be stamped and signed by the banker and handed over to the customer. Now in the customer's hands of view, it is the internally prepared, but it is authenticated by the banker. So it is called internal supporting voucher. Next is external supporting voucher. The external supporting voucher uh, are prepared by the third parties and send it to the business in the form of cash memos, bills, invoices obtained from the supplier, etc. So external supporting vouchers. These external supporting vouchers are prepared by outsiders only and handed it over to the business. Example, we purchase the goods from a supplier. The supplier has issued us the invoice. So invoice is prepared by the supplier and handed it over to us. So we have received the invoice from the supplier. So this invoice is called external supporting invoice, external supporting voucher. Similarly, cash memo. When we purchase the goods from a supplier on cash basis, on cash basis, we have uh, purchased the goods. When we purchase the goods, the supplier will issue cash memo. So cash memo is prepared by the supplier and handed over to us. So it is external, external supporting voucher. Similarly, cash memo and uh, receipts given by outsiders. When we make some payment to an outsider, they will give the receipt. And that receipt is also an external supporting voucher. Example, we pay the telephone bill, we pay the electricity bill, we pay the water bill. We will issue, we will get to the, I mean, uh, a supporting, external supporting voucher. So I have explained you about two types of supporting vouchers. Remember, supporting vouchers are the main documentary proof on which the entries are recorded and internal and external. Now accounting vouchers. Second type of vouchers are called accounting vouchers. These are secondary vouchers which are prepared based on supporting vouchers issued by third parties. So these accounting vouchers are the internally prepared vouchers prepared by the accountant. It is secondary vouchers. Supporting vouchers are the primary vouchers and this accounting vouchers are the secondary vouchers and the secondary vouchers will support the supporting vouchers. It is secondary to supporting vouchers. Now uh, the accountant prepares these vouchers and are signed by the authorized person of the company. The voucher can be divided. So it is prepared. The accounting vouchers are prepared by the business itself, the accountant of the business itself. But these vouchers should be authenticated, authorized by the respective person. Then only it will have validity. Now we can divide the accounting vouchers also into two categories. That is cash vouchers and non-cash vouchers. Name itself is clear. Cash voucher is a voucher in which the amount is specified in cash. Whereas there is inflow of cash or outflow. There is receiving of cash or paying of cash. That is called cash voucher. When there is no cash involved, only simply an adjustment is made, then that type of voucher is called non-cash voucher. First of all, cash vouchers are the documentary evidence of cash payments and cash receipts. So cash vouchers 
are those vouchers which are prepared for receiving the cash and for paying the cash. The cash vouchers are again divided into debit cash vouchers and credit cash vouchers. So what are debit cash vouchers? Debit cash vouchers are prepared for the payment of cash. For the payment of cash. So whenever the cash is paid, it is supported by debit vouchers. So payments example, the example of debit voucher include cash purchase of goods and asset. When we purchase the goods for cash, when we purchase the goods for asset, an internally generated voucher should be prepared. Because it is payment voucher, that's why it is called a debit voucher. The payment of salaries, payment of to employees, payment to creditors, etc. Whenever we make the payment, payment to employees, payment to creditors, payment of bank loan or anything which we are paying, that for that purpose we prepare debit voucher. Now credit voucher is exactly opposite. The voucher created for receipt of cash, for receiving the cash. So credit voucher is documentary evidence for cash receipt. The example of credit voucher include cash sale. When goods are sold for cash, for cash, the cash, uh, cash uh, credit voucher will make. So assets and investment, cash receipt of interest, loans, borrowed, rent or any other income. So whenever there is receipt of cash, we prepare credit voucher. Whenever there is payment of cash, it is made debit voucher. So these two are called cash vouchers. Now non-cash vouchers. The non here all the documents are entered through the budgetary control module and not instead of general ledger module. Normally we prepare all the vouchers in general ledger module. General ledger module. But for making non-cash vouchers, non-cash vouchers, we go to budgetary control module and recording the non-cash against different types of accounts including fund balances, expenses, revenue or assets and liabilities. For all these things, we have to enter a non-cash transaction like adjustments. So these adjustments will be done in uh, this non-cash vouchers will be generated. That's it. So this is the complete explanation regarding what are vouchers and explain the classification of vouchers. The vouchers are supporting vouchers, accounting vouchers. Supporting which vouchers are internal, external. Whereas uh, this accounting uh, vouchers may be uh, cash uh, debit vouchers or credit vouchers cash vouchers and non-cash vouchers for cash vouchers again debit vouchers and credit voucher that's all now the second question i'm going to explain in this video is regarding what are the buttons available in the accounting voucher screen in tally erp on the keyboard we can find the function key f1 f2 f3 f4 like that function key are available so every function key will have specific function so what are the specific functions for every key in tally ERP? So that's what it is asking in the question. So first the various buttons available in the accounting voucher screen in tally ERP 9 are as follows. So one by one key we will discuss. F1. F1 key is for inventory voucher. So this button is used to select the accounts button and inventory button. For accounts and inventory button we use F1. F2. This button is used to change the voucher date. If you want to change the voucher date, simply press F2 button, you can be able to change the date. F3, press button F3 if you want to switch over, switch to another loaded company and enter a voucher in it. Suppose a business is having more than one companies, more than one companies. So accountant can switch over from one company to another company to enter the transaction. For example, presently the accountant is doing on ABC company voucher. He is entering the transaction in ABC company. Now the accountant wants to switch over to XYZ company. So by pressing this F3 key, he can be able to switch over from ABC company to XYZ company, enter the transaction. Then again, if you want to come back to ABC company, he has to again press F3 and select ABC company. Like the switch over from one company to another company is possible from F3 button. Now F4. Press F4 to create a contra voucher. If you want to prepare a contra voucher, you can uh, get it by pressing F4. F5. Payment. To create a payment voucher, we press F5. So F5 by pressing, we can go to creation of payment button. 
then f6 reset just like f5 f5 is for payment f6 is for reset so if you want to create a reset voucher if you want to enter the transaction in reset voucher so press f6 then f7 journal so it is divided into journal debit note and credit note these are the seven functions f1 f2 f3 f4 f5 f6 f7 so we have completed up to f7 f7 function key is for journal now i'm coming to f8 the f8 press f8 to create new sales voucher or debit note voucher so remember f8 is for sales voucher so if you want to open the sales voucher to enter the sale transaction press f8 similarly f9 f9 function key is used to create purchase voucher so for purchase voucher f9 for sales voucher f8 then f10 press f10 to create reverse journal voucher if reverse journal voucher is there press f10 then f11 for to change company features if you are interested in changing the company features press f11 lastly f12 to configure if you want to make some changes in the configuration then f12 will be used to configure voucher entry any voucher entry you want to configure then the below steps should be followed step 1 go to gateway of tally then secondly press f12 after opening the tally package press f12 this will display the configuration menu by pressing f12 it will display the configuration menu then step 3 double click on voucher entry whichever voucher entry you want to configure then select double click the voucher entry this will display the voucher entry configuration screen this will display voucher entry configuration screen then if you want to change the option from yes to no or from no to yes double click the corresponding option double click if you want to uh, change from yes to no or no to yes double click that option then press ctrl a after making the necessary changes whatever changes you want to make make the changes after making the changes press ctrl plus a ctrl plus a after making the necessary changes then now the tally will accept the changes and close the voucher configuration screen then after pressing this ctrl plus a the tally package will configure all the changes and closes the screen so these are the different buttons which are used function keys which are used from f1 to f12 having different functions in tally erp so in this video i have explained you about what is a voucher what are the different types of voucher and what are the different buttons which are used in tally erp9 from f1 to f12 inshallah the next topic will continue in the next video but before that i want to inform you that i have started a new channel by name hans accounting institute so please visit that channel a number of knowledgeable videos I have already uploaded by watching those videos definitely you can be able to enhance your knowledge on accounting on finance on management so do subscribe that channel also and give your comments regarding these videos and where are you from watching these videos so this will give boost my I mean enthusiasm to give you more and more videos on your subject so give the comments and do subscribe my channels. Inshallah, we'll continue the next video in the next chapter in the next video.